Hello and welcome to part two of our preview of our cell inside of our warehouse. So we're going to take you on the tour. This is going to be a little bit lengthy because I got to go over a lot of furniture and a lot of prices and kind of point out some of the better stuff and some of the cooler stuff. So starting right here, uh, we have a lot of silver plate. Some of this some of this stuff is really nice. Some of it's just kind of common, but a lot of if you're looking for a silver plate for the holidays, we have a lot of it. We have four big shelves for it. Plus, we also have a lot that is all over the store. Um, this is a pedestal, and why a lot of times you know people might overlook this pedestal. What's really amazing about this pedestal? It's an antique pedestal, probably Victorian, maybe a little bit later. It is all faux painted wood. It is wood, but all that graining that you're seeing has all been hand painted. It is not the actual grain of the wood. It's really a neat pedestal that I think a lot of people ignore because they don't realize, you know, the how cool that is and how good of shape that is. We also have this bronze statue. The pedestal is marked at 285. This bronze statue um, is marked at 450. It's limited to 40 out of 50. This little print up on top that came from Gallardia, it is marked $85 for the art print. Kind of spinning around into the room, we have, um, there's a lot of these that are different scenes. It's a wrapped print on canvas. And you can actually at Wayfair, this thing, he's still available on Wayfair. It's on sale for $260 at Wayfair. We have it at $160. Branded at Wayfair, still available, um, like I said. And that's the on sale price. This is, is the $260. Okay, uh, coming over here. I'm going to kind of back up so you can kind of see some of the stuff. And we have this little indoor resin uh, bust. This came from Gloria. The bust itself is $85. We also have a pedestal that matches it. We have $150 on it. This obviously you don't have to use together. You could use the pedestal as a plant stand. Um, this is all mostly stuff that came from Gallardia. The uh, big art glass vase came from Poland. It's a Polish. It uh, came from Gallardia. It was $150. These two ultra amazing candlestick holders. These are Global Views. These new at a furniture store are about almost $600 a piece. We have them at $375 each. They are amazing in person. The big colorful print behind it, we think, we don't think it's an original, but it's really neat. Uh, it is $295. The little Buddha hand is $85. And looking at this um, kind of cool console table, it is Heckman with the iron base, came from Glardia, $750. And down below, these are also Global Views. There's lots of Global Views items in here. The big vase is $180, small vase is $150. And we're gonna kind of come over here. We have this large ram's head vase. This weighs a ton, it's $250, really good size, probably about two and a half foot tall. And this extremely large modern um, picture. This takes up an entire wall. You can also obviously turn it the other way and it would actually go over a sofa. $495. Okay, kind of spinning around. Okay, we have a pair of these. These are global views. These are tall emerald called Emerald Happy Temple Jars. Uh, this came from the Glardia Cell 2. These retail from Global Views for $2,400. Uh, Bob Mills right now, you can order them from Bob Mills. Bob Mills, you can order them for about $1,500 a piece. We have $950 each. The ones from Bob Mills are orange. Ours are green, but really neat. These two candlesticks here, these are Global View Zulu candle holders. Came from Glardia, obviously. Small one is $250. The large one is $270. We've got crystal uh, um, lobster. This was a, a holdover from one of our cells that it didn't sell. It's a really great art piece at $795. This is a, it's a, called a float vessel from the Czech Republic. It's from a company called SKLO. And this retails brand new. If you buy them right now, they are $1,900 for this size. We have $1,200 that's 
really an amazing piece. Uh, I was quite shocked to know that you can still get them in their 1900, but it is really makes a statement. This piece of furniture, this is by John, by John Richards. It's a Bombay chest, came from Gallardia. Uh, if you go to Mathis Brothers in the designer department, John, John Richards furniture typically sells in about $3,500, $4,000 range. You know, Mathis Rose has a whole lot of his collection. That's the new prices. We have $14.95 on this piece. It is a different style than what they're currently offering right now, but he makes really high and good, really nice furniture. Over here, we've got this end table. It is made by Heckman. It's a nice little, nice end table size. It is $275, kind of back behind it. This is a Mission Oak Curio cabinet. It is all Mission style oak, really nice, uh, $495. This came in with our Carousel Horse collection. This lamp is Maitland Smith. It's the Maitland Smith floor lamp. It is $850. If you've ever looked at Maitland Smith, you know most of the floor lamps, even at Mathis Brothers on sale, rarely get much below $1,500. A lot of them are the $2,000, $3,000 range. We have, this is Taylor King. It's a leopard leopard print bergere. It came from Gallardia. It is $350. It's really nice. This little cabinet that's kind of poking behind. This is Theodore Alexander. It's a chest on chest with bronze ormolu. This new uh, runs three grand. These are about 3,000 new. We have 1,500 on this. It is called, it's from their, I believe their armillary collection. They still sell this. You can still order this today. It's about three grand. Um, the little lamp next to it. This is also Maitland Smith. It is one ninety five. The console cabinet is. It's made by Jasper. It's an animal print bachelor's chest. It is three hundred ninety five dollars. We also have these nice. Uh, these are all real oil paintings. They're not. Obviously, like, you know, they're my famous artists, but they are legitimate oil paintings. The landscape on the bottom is $3.95. The architectural one up on top is $2.50. Over here, we have Napoleon's horse. That is also, I believe, $3.95. The urn on top is bronze. Let's see what the price on the bronze urn is. $2.95. This is a really neat piece. I would almost bet money that's probably Maitland Smith. Back over here. This is an antique uh, fold-out lithograph that came from a book that has been, you can see by the seams, it's been unfolded and then they framed it. This actually would have been a pull-out in a really expensive book, probably a couple hundred years old. We have 350 on this. This, These are really, really hard to come by. Uh, finding a one-page just fold-out, but something this big that's still in this kind of condition that hasn't deteriorated really hard to find also with the hand coloring it's really exceptional kind of panning back we have this big custom made iron bed this is all hand wrought iron really heavy it is not this is not a factory production piece it's really exceptional it is queen size it is 795 dollars the bedding on it came from the diffie estate and it's a queen size set although it has king size pillows with it Really opulent. I believe this probably came from Hemispheres. It looks very similar to what Hemispheres used to sell. We have eight fifty for the set. This at Hemispheres would probably have been close to four thousand. Um, right here we have some of our horses. We've got probably twenty horses around the around the store. Um, the one on the left and the one on the right are six hundred each. The one in the middle, which is a little bit larger in scale and a little bit better carved, is 800. Really fun. These would make awesome, awesome uh, decor for your house. Obviously, these are not original carousel horses. That would be five, six thousand dollars. These are reproductions that were made, probably made in Mexico, but they could have also been made in Asia somewhere. But they're still a lot of fun if you want the look, but no one has paid the money for it. Over here. This came from the Diffie Estate. It's a carved Bombay cabinet. It is $295. We have this lamp here that is, this is bronze. 
in porcelain. It is very, it looks very similar to a Sevs or a Sevs type. It is 300 and it should say $395, but for some reason it says $398. Um, we have this mirror. This also, this came from our Norman estate sale we did. It's $95. It's an antique mirror with really pretty gilding. This floor lamp, which came from the Diffie estate. Let me see what is smart. It's marked $275. It is really gorgeous floor lamp. We had this huge French armoire. This piece does disassemble, so if you do need to take it apart, obviously to move it, it'd be a lot easier. This is $350, it's a lot of storage, and like I said, it does disassemble, it's really easy to move. This uh, chair also came from the Diffie Estate, it is one four, or it's 125, it is black velvet. And this also came from the Diffies. This is a beautiful French um, chest of drawers with black glass. You can see on the top, that's not marble. That's actually black glass. And then it has a gilded mirror on top. This is 565. Really a neat piece. Uh, you really don't see stuff like this in Oklahoma very often. Kind of coming back here. This is a chair, leather chair and ottoman. This is from Hickory Chair Leather Company. Um, this came from Glardia. It is a uh, $9.95 for the chair and the ottoman. We also have the matching sofa over here. The matching sofa is $1,200 and, you know, beautiful condition. I, my understanding was they never even really used it when they moved. It didn't fit, so they, they put it in storage and then we ended up getting it. These two tables, these two tables, I believe, there's a pair that match. I believe these are no these are Theodore Alexander and we have 650 each on them these from Theodore Alexander are probably in the $1200 range if you go buy them new and we have this table which came from the Diffie estate uh, this was right in the middle of their living room it's 345 it's a it's a faux leather that's all gold embossed with an iron base it is really a gorgeous table and over here see this is a lane modern print recliner it came from Gallardia. it is $350 it is really comfy I've actually been sitting in this chair as we've been filling up furniture tags it's actually a really pretty nice chair or recliner it had this really fun metal art sculpture it's an iron flower dragon statue and it is $295 the base it sits on is a great little end table size it's $195 it's kind of a distressed white Coming over here, we have a glass top table. This table is big enough, you can get six chairs around it. This came from the Diffies, this was uh, $275. The chairs that are around it, we have four matching chairs that came out of an Edmund estate that we did. These chairs are $65 each, they're a nice contemporary style. On the table, something that's really cool, is this seashell. This is the largest seashell like this I have probably ever seen. It's marked 125. It is immense. I've never seen one this big before, ever. Over here, we have a pair of chairs. These chairs are really neat. They are not silver leaf. They're actually metal wrapped. So they actually put the metal on it, emboss the metal onto it and into the carving. So it makes it almost like a, a metal wrap that goes all the way around it. I've only seen chairs like this one time at a retail store. These typically retail for over two grand a chair. We've got $12.95 per chair on them in the R matching pair. Right here we have a bookcase by Pollard. This piece actually came from the Kent Potter estate cell. I purchased it from the Kent Potter estate cell. It didn't fit in my house, so it's actually for sale or kind of for display here. We've actually just been using it for shelf space. These new are over two grand. I think they're like 2,200 to order one. Um, this one we have $14.95 on it, just because it won't fit in my house, but it is really neat. And like I said, came from the Kent Potter estate, if you're familiar with Kent Potter. As we come down here, we have more, uh, there's lots of uh, reproduction oil paintings. So if you're looking for that look, we have a lot of them. This one came from the Diffies at $275. This is a tessellated marble top table. It has three legs. This is really great for sitting in between a couple of chairs. It is marked 250. 
we have this uh, French style Ormolu carved chest that came from the Diffie. This was in the master bedroom. It is marked eighteen hundred dollars. For one of these, this is a really good quality one. You know, a lot of these are kind of cheap and flimsy, and you know, when you see them up close, they're kind of embarrassing looking. This one is really a high quality one. Over here, we have another painting. This one came from Glardia. It's just three ninety five with the bridge. A lot more art. Okay. Let's come around here. We have a pair of Parsons chairs from the Diffie Estate. These are 50 each. This kind of little half round table um, or little console table is 185. This uh, planner, this is a, uh, it's Cerede Limited. Uh, it's marked 285. They make a lot of high end expensive pottery. This sofa came from the Diffies. Uh, the Diffie, this is marked 250. It's immaculate wool white sofa. So if we kind of go around, we have a pair of these white chairs. These are 135 each. The table I want to call attention to, this is an outstanding table. This is all little pieces of agate, then put together to make a tabletop with a solid marble base. This is extremely heavy. It is moving around the store has been a booger. It is a slice G, or they put slice geo, so it's kind of little slice agates. Uh, it is 2,500. It is amazing. Also, cool thing about it is if you put light up underneath it, it will actually glow. It actually could make its own little, kind of like a light glowing lamp. This pair of chairs, these are asymmetrical chairs from the 1930s. These are really rare. This is the third pair of these I've, ever, I've seen probably in 25 years. Uh, the first pair I saw in the late 90s sold for $1,500 for the pair. Second pair, um, the people who got them, I never even could find out what the price was. I think it was $2,000. This pair came from a sale in Lincoln Terrace. Uh, these are $695 for the pair. They're actually, like I said, very rare. Only the third pair I've ever even seen. And they're really clean. The... Uh, Little French inlay table, it is marked 245 that came from the Diffies. If you kind of notice behind it, there's another carousel horse. Like I said, there's about 20. This is a little, um, kind of little bronze cabinet. It is, sits on a, on a base with cherubs. It does have a broken mirror that needs to be replaced. It is marked 900, or it's 895, 895 for the cabinet, but it is really kind of a fun piece. This curio cabinet is made by Hickory White. This came from the Diffie Estate. It is marked six hundred and fifty dollars. Couple right here. This is made by Art. This came from a gated community up in Edmond. Uh, we have a three forty five on it. The uh, floor lamp here is made by the Lamley Company. Uh, Lamley, if you're not familiar with it, it's it's expensive furniture company. They, um, Bruno's used to sell them. You can sometimes find some of it at Mathis Brothers. The lamp itself is four fifty. It is all mirrored. It's mirrored and has a gold scroll work in it. The little metal sofa table is one seventy five, and I believe those lamps there are also Maitland. We couldn't for sure verify they're Maitland, but we're pretty sure they're Maitland. One of the other chairs I've already mentioned. This sofa came from Golardia. It is Bernhard. It is Mark 295 because they cannot find the feet for it. When all their stuff went into storage, they somehow lost the feet. Feet are extremely easy to get, but without the feet, we marked it 295. It's just going to need, you know, those little average little bun feet that you can find anywhere. And, you know, Bernhard obviously makes a really good product. But it's two ninety five for the, for the uh, sofa. We have this um, wood and iron based coffee table. This is really a heavy duty coffee table. It's marked two hundred and fifty dollars. Okay, now we're kind of in. I call it the modern gray section, the gray and blue section. We have this amazing Chase Lounge. This Chase Lounge was purchased from a designer store in Dallas. I believe it was forty. I think it was forty-five hundred dollars for the piece of furniture. 
they do really high-end acrylic and lucite work. Uh, we have it priced at uh, $2,400. Also, if you notice all the pillows on top of all the sofas, most of these are all custom-made pillows. They're all downfilled, really luxurious pillows. We have a gray tufted ottoman. It is $3.95. Come over here. This is a CR Lane Greek key um, chair. This is a swivel rocker. This was $1,800 new. Uh, we have it marked at $800 because it has a little teeny tiny little tear right there. You don't even notice it until you until you look until you're looking for it, but. Because of that, we marked it lower. Uh, it is still a great chair. We have this pair of curio cabinets. These are, you know, obviously console height curio cabinets. They're marked 150 each. They're black and very modern looking. This little silver table is Bernhardt. It's marked 495. This grace uh, sofa or settee. It is custom upholstered, it's in gray herringbone fabric, and it is $6.95. Okay, coming back over here, we have this gorgeous uh, pair of chairs. There's, they're gray. Um, we could not find the manufacturer on them. They're marked $8.95 each. They are extremely good quality if you... You know, a lot of furniture, you can look at it and touch it and tell it's cheap or expensive. These are really nice. The little turquoise chest is by Hooker. It is um, called the Melange Turquoise Crackle Chest. Uh, no Mathis Brothers used to sell these. Um, we found them brand new. You can still order them brand new. They are for about $1,500 if you order or you get them from a furniture store. We've got this one at $9.95. Okay, now over in the office area, this is a smaller carousel horse. This one's 350. Uh, this is probably a little easier size for some people to decorate with. We have a partner's desk that came from a Norman estate. It was marked $275. And we have a pair of Hitchcock chairs. These are $85 each. Over here, we have a little three-legged table and it is marked 125, a Maitland Smith lamp, it's 250. This computer desk is marked 195, and a Howard Miller grandfather clock, which is 395. And this is a Julian August secretary bookcase. It's really gorgeous. This came from a cell, this came from a gated cell up in uh, Edmond. This is 750. Now over here, we've got a Thomasville chair. It's Paisley print. It's marked $250. It still has the tags attached to the chair. Okay. Now over here, we have a pair of black ladder-style bookshelves. These are $85 each. Uh, more carousel horses. This table and chair set, it's got the ladder back chairs. I believe this is Pennsylvania House. It is marked $495 for the whole set that you get the chair and the table and the leaves. This pair of wing back chairs with the tapestry fabric, these are $245 each. The table in the middle is $795. This is Maitland Smith with the bronze, bronze table base and iron table base with the tessellated marble top. This is a reproduction, uh, this is kind of fun there. It looks like a gas pump. You open it up, it's actually a bookcase. You can put CDs, DVDs in it. The light also lights up, plus it also has a clock you can plug in. It's a lot of fun. It's a really great little conversation piece. This is $4.95. We have a small curio cabinet. This is marked $95. More carousel horses. This burgundy sofa came from the Diffie Estate. It's marked 185. It has really good, nice looking fringe all the way around it. The coffee table sitting in front is neat in that it has these two little side tables that pull out. So if you need extra tables, they will pull out or you can keep it all as one. It's 150. This little chrome and glass kind of 80s uh, modern table is real fun. It's $250. back kind of over here we have the curio cabinet this came from the Diffie cell this is $295 got 
more horses, a painted console table for 85. This is, this dresser and pair of matching nightstands is made by Davis International. The dresser is $2.95 and the nightstands are $95 each. Coming around the corner, we have a pair of dining room chairs for $65. This nether curio cabinet, this one's $250, has the curved glass. We have a pair of mission style bookcases. These are $125 or I should say the one on the right is 125 because it has a small hole cut in the back for electrical switch. The one on the left is 185. It's actually, there's nothing wrong with it. And they're nice, good looking um, mission style cabinets. The curio cabinet right in front is a 295. I, I say curio cabinets, technically it's a, it's a China cabinet, but you could use it for a lot of different stuff. It is $295 made by Pennsylvania House. The drop leaf table here, which goes out to a full round table or drops down, as you can see, this is Ralph Lauren Home Collection. This is $750. You know, as you know, this is probably a $3,000 table new. We have a small little butler style table. This is $95. We have a mission style glider rocker. This is $250. It's also got green leather cushions. And this is a Ralph Lauren linen press. Um, it has shelves inside. You can use it for sweaters. You can use it for linens. You can use it for tea, tea sets like, like we've got it set up here. And it is marked $5.95. Another carousel horse. In this section, we have a we have a vanity stool and mirror that are made of, it's called ranch oak this is 295 for the mirror and vanity it is 25 dollars for the stool which obviously needs some work done on it we have the matching chest i'll show you in just a second we have this little black wicker chair it looks like pier one it's mark 125 we have this pine nightstand by southern furniture company it's marked at 125 we've got Four poster queen size bed. This is all pine. It's three hundred and fifty dollars. The bench in front of it and plaid is a will fit inside of a in front of a queen or a king size bed. It's ninety five dollars. The adjustable bed is made by Serta. If I remember correctly, it was only six months old when it was purchased. It is it's adjustable. It fully works. We have the remote for it. Seven ninety five made by Serta. This is the matching uh, ranch oak chest of drawers. It's $2.95. We have a small spool cabinet that's $1.95. Kind of over here in the little kids' room, we have this little kitchen set. These are made by, uh, let's see, it's Pottery Barn Kids. Uh, these are marked $250 each. I was actually shocked. That's actually what they bring. They'll actually sell if you list them on eBay. That's actually what they sell for. Extremely good quality, really nice, durable pieces. We have a king or queen size headboard. This iron. This came from Glardia, as did the kitchen set below. It's two hundred and fifty. Kind of over here, we have this is a Thomasville wardrobe. It's three ninety five. It looks like it's off kilter just because the base isn't attached to the cabinet because uh, we've been having to push it back and forth uh, to block our storeroom. Back here, we've got these beds. It's a pair of twin beds. Uh, they are made by Restoration Hardware. It's called the Harland Youth Twin Youth Bed. The These things were over a th obviously over a thousand, probably about thirteen hundred dollars new. We have them priced at eight ninety five each. They are extremely heavy duty. They're metal with a leather trim goes all the way around them. Really neat. It kind of plays along with the drum bookcase. This came from Restoration Hardware also. This new, you can actually still order it. It's 2500 new. We have it at $1495. What you can't order anymore are the matching end tables to look like little drums. They are marked at $595 each. I believe these were $1200, $1300 each when they were new. We've got a Melissa and Doug giraffe. This new from their store is $95. We have it at $65. 
over here, another carousel horse. We also have a full length ranch, a full length ranch meat coat from Gino's. We have a Thomasville dresser. This came from Gallardia as with the rest of the bedroom furniture. This is marked $250. We do not have a mirror, it's just a dresser. Another carousel horse. These are restoration hardware. They also match the bedroom set. These are marked $95 each. And we have an antique mid 1800s uh, chest with a marble top. This came from the Diffie Estate. This is 165. These pictures back here are really fun. Huge, huge pictures. They're reproductions of you know the pull down charts in old classrooms that you would, would have like the specimens on on it. They are marked three hundred and fifty dollars each. They make an amazing wall statement. Down here we have a Lexington Lexington nightstand at sixty five dollars. And there's some more occasional tables kind of back around the back of the drum. From this side of that shelf, it looks like an actual big, huge bass drum. It's really neat. This would actually float out in the middle of the room, make a really great little statement. Okay, back up this way. We've got this yellow chair. This came from the Diffie Estate. It is marked 285, and it's a swivel. It swivels. I does not rock, but it is really nice. I believe we also have a partial roll of matching fabric for that. This is a Century Buffet. It's kind of a greenish, whitish color. It's $150. This is a folding baker's thread from Gallardia. It's marked $95. Another small carousel horse. Okay, this is a, a cedar chest with the painting on the front. It's marked $145. This is a vinyl wicker rocking chair, and this came from Gallardia, and they're looking for the price. There it is, one eighty-five. Little antique clover top table. This is one twenty-five. This is a wingback chair in ottoman for one seventy-five. This came from our Norman estate sale. This. Set right here. This is Henry the set Henry the second style as it comes with the table and all four chairs They are cane backed The base is real exceptional with those little uh, little dragons or griffins carved into it. It is eight It is 975 for the set We have a pair of Victorian chairs. They're an exact match. It's not a Ladies and gentlemen's chair that are different sizes. This is the exact match. They're 275 each Really nice condition. Coming around here, we've got, this is the, um, this is actually a French Empire Pure Mirror Base. This is gonna be pretty period. It could be as late as 1830s, but I'm pretty sure it's 1820s. Really exceptional find, does not have the marble top, would need a marble top cut for it. These used to run just an absolute fortune back in the 90s. I mean, these, these tables would be $2,500. This is marked $3.95. It's a really good buy um, just because we don't have the top for it. And, you know, the market and styles have kind of changed. With this little barrel back chair for $125. And this little gallery tray table, which is $145. That's kind of the ultra-fast run-through of all the furniture here. I certainly love to see you at the estate sale, and if you do get a chance, feel free to stop on by.